Business Brain, episode 566 for casual Friday, July 12th, National Simplicity Day, 2024. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take a few ideas, we crunch them, we dissect them, we analyze them, we use them to tune our business brains each and every episode that we get together, which is usually twice a week. Our sponsor for this week is Shopify.com slash Business Brain. That's where you can go to sign up for a $1 per month trial period. Uh, It's amazing. We'll talk more about this in a little bit. I've used it. I'm currently using it with one business. I'm about to add it to another. I know Shannon and I have both used it in the past. It's amazing. We'll talk more about it in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, on this National Simplicity Day, I'm Dave Hamilton. Simple. I love it. Uh, Here out in uh, Northern California, in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. Happy Friday, Dave. Happy Friday. I hope uh, I, I will have, we record this on Tuesdays. On Thursday, assuming the weather is permitting, which at this point, I think it it will have been. I think that's the right way to talk about the future. Uh, I will have flown from New Hampshire to about an hour north of Chicago, where I am um, presenting at Max.conference. We're taking Pilot Pete's little Grumman Tiger. uh, Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. This conference (laughs) is in a weird... No, no, I'm super excited. I love small yeah. planes. Um, oh, this conference is, a, it, like I said, it's an hour north of Chicago, and it's a pain in the neck to huh. get there. I've got, I, you know, you fly into Chicago, then you either have to get an Uber or oh, rent a car for four days that you don't need for the four days. You just need it to get out and back, mm. or beg, borrow, you know, steal a ride from someone, whatever that works out to be, and. They moved the location slightly for this one. It's still in the same general area. And when they did, I realized that a mile and a half away was a general aviation, you know, municipal oh. airport. Yeah. And Pete was like, you know, we could. And we did the the math on both the um, cost of the fuel, which is essentially sure. all we have to pay for to get out there yeah. and back. There might be a landing fee, but a lot of municipal airports there isn't. But if it is, it'd mm. be like 30 bucks or something. Minimal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we're going to buy fuel from them anyway, so they'll probably waive it. Um, but the cost of fuel and, and whatever was basically the same as parking at Boston Logan two round trip, you know, tickets and coach class, and then whatever we would have to pay on the other end to get out and back to, you know, to, to this place from Chicago. So it was like, oh, this will be more fun That's cool. as it's come closer. The weather, it's still a little like iffy. So we might wind up buying plane tickets tomorrow morning, but, oh. um, oh. the, the good news is. Nobody needs to be a hero. We're yes. only doing this for fun. So yes. if the weather dictates that it would not be fun, we will Don't not do it. it. We'll just yeah, grab a, pl- you know, we'll, we'll we'll let somebody else fly and we can have a cocktail on the plane. Yeah, like, it's perfect. fine. I love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Speaking, yeah, yeah. Of, speaking of smart, hey, yes. before we get into our main topic, I want to share a, a tactic that I've been using with, with ChatGPT that I've, you know, sound or that has worked great for... Some of my clients that I'm I'm working with, and and what I've it's related to your ideal customer profile, and you know oh, what, yep. Chet, what ChatGPT is good at is taking data that you give it, analyzing it, and creating you know something else from that to help expand what you're doing. So what I asked this this client, they made a comment to me, wow, you know we have ten customers that are basically like our platinum. They we love sure. these customers and they generate eighty percent of our net revenue. These ten customers, how okay. and we what we don't know how to do is get more of those types of customers. So I I had them give me their information about the ten or the names of the ten companies. I uploaded those to ChatGPT and I said, hey, uh, go ahead and research these companies. Tell me what their uh, identify their common traits. What do they all, what things do they share? And once you find this information, give me all that information back, but then I want you to build a target list of 50 other companies that share these same traits and tell me about them and what traits they all have. And once you've developed that list of 50, I want you to develop a marketing plan to go and reach out and start 
proposing, you know, get getting your product mix and pro services a service business. Get out there and, and uh, get the word out to these people. And dude, it nailed it. I mean, it, dude, it, it's even it, if it didn't nail it, and nailed it. Yeah. and I believe you that it nailed it. But even if it didn't nail it, you would know that it didn't nail it, and you yeah. would tweak that. Yeah. Even if the list was wrong, it'd be like, well, 30 of these are right, but 20 of these, no, yes. Yes. they're missing. And then suddenly you'd fill in 15 companies. Yes. But ChatGPT as the the catalyst to this, and then if yeah. the marketing plan was wrong, you'd be like, yeah. well, you this part at of it. it's good, but Correct. this part, and you would flesh it out. Yes. But it lets you start from somewhere. Oh, it, the report it, it created. Dude, I got to do this. I, we need to end the episode right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, what I will do is I will anonymize this or create another sample mm. uh, with some sample companies to show you how to do it. And the Great. prompt I used was not bad. You know, I, I, yep. I mean, it wasn't too detailed. I, I told, hey, you're a marketing expert with experience in this industry. Here's yes. a list of our top clients. I want you to research the companies in the list. Come up with a marketing plan that includes providing a list of 50 companies that share the same traits as these businesses. Once we have the list of 50, I want a detailed marketing plan with action items to introduce them to our services. And I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I, I'm dumbfounded only because I know it, seemed, it will work. It seems work. so simple. <laughs> it, I, it, yes, it is. It is the answer today. So, yep. yes. So I uploaded this list and it did this research and an analysis of current clients. It gave me their, their industry, location, their size, how many employees, what their services are. And here was very important. What they report is their like their noble cause. Their their most what if you go on their website of this company X, here's why we do this. And I didn't really think about it that, but when you get that, you can fine tune your mark your whole message to what they believe in. And and ChatGPT did it. It was it was amazing. And wow. uh, I mean. Yeah, it was great. And, you know, and I can't, I can't take credit for other than, you know, coming up with the prompt and realizing it could do it. Uh, but it's no, great. You can and take credit for that. That's okay yeah. to take credit yeah, yeah, for. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, and, oh, geez. So I, I will play around with this so we have something to share in a you know, week or so and I'll, I'll put it on great. the site. And, but that prompt alone. So identify who your top clients are. If you said, man, if we had one more of those, that company or 10 more of those companies go up to chat. And this is the four, uh, Oh, four -oh. Version, yep. Omni, uh, version. I, I don't know what it would do with 3.5, but it may do the same thing, but go up there, upload that list of clients and say, tell me what all the same, what the traits are. What are the most important aspects of the business? What do they believe in? And then tell it to go find you 50 other companies that share those same traits and how to go market to those companies. And, in the marketing side of it, put your constraints. Like I knew this company was using um, the, the companies that were located or employees located in India that were doing like email marketing and outbound calling. And so I said, okay, these are the way, these are our constraints. Yep. How do we max or minimize the, the negative of that, maximize positive. And it came up with a whole marketing program. So check it out. It'd be interesting to hear, uh, the prompts and stuff that you guys have been doing. All right, look, have you ever dreamt of running a store while lounging on a hammock, sipping pina coladas and training a pet llama to do your taxes? Okay, well, maybe that last part's a stretch, but with our sponsor Shopify, anything feels possible. When I started podcasting, an online store was the farthest thing from my mind. Now I'm selling all kinds of cool stuff soon, even merch for my Gig Gab podcast. And guess what? It's so easy, all because of Shopify. <laughs> Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch your online shop stage to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify's there to help you grow. Whether you're selling shipping supplies or promoting productivity programs, Shopify helps you sell everywhere, from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS. Shopify turns browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better than other platforms. And with Shopify magic, their AI powered all-star, you can sell more with less effort. 
Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. And it's the force behind brands like Allbirds, Rothy's, and millions of entrepreneurs across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. So, if you want to live a charmed business life... Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash business brain, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash business brain now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash business brain. And our thanks to Shopify for sponsoring this episode. All right. All right. Um, I want to hear this is a, this topic has me intrigued. Yeah, how, how to how to stop a coup at well, your company? <laughs> I, I, I don't know about how to stop it, but I okay. know how to prevent the next one. Um, Got it. Yeah. So this happened to me at a company that I ran years ago, a company called Computer Nerds. Um, right. And and then it happened again recently. The company that a friend of mine runs that I, let's say I consult for in in you know, sure. some unofficial capacity. Right. Yeah. So. We had uh, a bunch of people working, you know, at at this company and uh, with computer nerds specifically, I I can share the 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 gory details because A, it was decade and a half or more ago and B, who cares? Uh, It was mine. I'm not going to share the details of my friend's company because that's not my story to tell. But uh, we computer nerds was a business where it was like pre geek squad, but that basic concept we would okay. go out to yep. people's homes and offices and fix their problems or install their printers or you know do whatever we needed to do and at one point you know we built the business up we had like 30 nerds out in the field and it was all going well i was the junior partner in this business mm. all right uh but and, and that's fine like i knew that going in like it was fine i got a piece of the action but didn't really i i had influence but not final say over what happened all good no problem uh, about a year and a half into m- me being involved in this business, my partner, the senior partner, hired, uh, wanted to hire my wife to do all our dispatch. She was like in between jobs. He's like, I think that would be great. And I'm like, I don't right. know. You know, I don't know. And <laughs> yeah. and we were not husband and wife. We were living together, but but not yet married. And I was like, well, if we do this, she's got to report to you. He's like, okay, great. Yeah, no that's smart. Yeah, I like that. It, yeah, well, I, I needed to learn about, yeah, you know, sure. uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, so that all goes on. At that point in time, this is the mid 90s in Austin. People's perception of like a long drive and traffic in general in Austin was, in my estimation, ridiculous. There was the same grocery store every four blocks because traveling more than two blocks was People preposterous. Like ah. You know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everybody that lived there, at least those people that didn't come from like a suburb of Manhattan where we actually yeah. understood what traffic was like, d- d- just lived that world. And, uh, you know, we would get calls from various people and businesses and then we would have to assign them out to our nerds each day and, and build a route that they would have to drive going from place to place. And sure. Oftentimes it was non optimal because we don't get to pick who makes the phone ring. It's just how yeah, it works. That's right. Yep. And, and there was a, there, there was one person that wanted the job of dispatcher and all, and understood that there was always going to be some rumblings about like, Hey, there's like nothing's ever perfect with yeah. management or whatever. And so they led a coup hmm. uh, uh, and and went to other people and sort of riled people up and uh, and wound up creating a scenario where the, the right solution for the business. Everybody was so upset about how things were routing that we had to to let our dispatcher go, oh. at, which was my wife. Oh. Yes. So wow. I stepped in at that. My, my partner and I talked about it and I was like, yeah. no. I'll be the one to tell her like, sure, it's fine. I get it. And so I, I, th- this is the story where I fired my wife oh. and then, and then a year later we got married. So it all worked out. Uh, yeah. But 
What I did not realize at the time and the advice that I have since given to my friend and, and will give to all of you is sometimes that happens. And you if you don't manage it as it's developing, you might not even know it's developing. Then you have to sort of go with momentum. Otherwise, it was lose one person or lose 20 right oh, at that point. Yeah, okay. Okay. And so it's like, OK, the business has to do this. Fine. Yes. Fine. Not optimal. Yes. Not how this should have developed, not how I would have liked it to develop, but it developed. And here's where we are today. Okay. What I did not do and then had to do six months later, uh, what I did not do was also fire the coup leader. Oh. I should have. I, I, I needed to fire my wife. Fine. Yeah. Understood. Yep. It's how it works. She got it. Like eventually. Um, it wasn't the easiest conversation yeah, the two yeah, of us have ever had. We're going to have yeah, but, the show next week. And yeah, there, yeah, oh, I can't, oh, that's right. <laughs> Actually, that'd be really interesting. I, 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 she and I haven't talked about that in a while. Um, but, but I have hired her since then for other businesses. So, you know, anyway, but what I should have also done in that moment was said, okay, I, it's a, I'm aware you mm -hmm. have, uh, you know, all of you have this concern. This person's not doing the job the way they needed to do it. I need to fix this. So we've let that person go. We are going to install someone else in this position. Maybe in the short term, it's me. Like, yeah. what you know, whatever that needs to be, some emergency thing while we find the right person. But I also need to make it clear that this is not the way to do things yeah, here. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, and so I am also letting that person go. The rest of you are totally fine. But that person created this scenario, went to all of you and did this, and that's not okay. So when you have a coup, you sometimes have to go along with it, but you also fire the coup leader as close to, if not simultaneously with whatever else, uh, uh, you know, in, in terms of damage control needs to happen. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, that's a tough situation. Um, oh, I know. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> very, very tough. And I, I've had uh, things, similar things like that happen where people, you know, you get a group of people together, yeah, and they come forward, and this is the way we should it should be, or this person, um, and I, and I agree, it isn't the way that, that that if you're aware of it, and maybe you hear grumblings and don't don't do anything about it that that's that's one thing but if they come drop this bomb on you like we've all decided you know my always is like hey this is not a democracy nope you know, uh it's not even a republic uh, we are no you know, but they could all leave oh, like no so i get you that don't, yes. you, you gotta protect yeah. that yeah yep. you don't want them to leave but right at the same time you're like hey great i appreciate your feedback um and let's talk about uh you know what controls can we put in place to yes uh, maybe ad address this in versus uh, uh, such a drastic way of is it really the fault of an individual or is it the fault of the system that we're using uh the procedures that we have the policies you know you got to really look at it i hate firing people but it's a fail. You know, I always say if, when you have to fire someone, it's a total failure of management. Oh, you've, absolutely. You've hired the wrong person or you didn't train them the right way or you have the wrong systems or policies, procedures in place. No, you and it to, was the you know, it was the latter with this. Yeah. I was aware that people were unhappy at times right. with the yeah. routing, but it was like, well, this is how it be. Yeah. Like this is the nature of the job. Yes. So yes. Exactly. I, like we we do our best and we understand that it's not great to have somebody go north south north south all sure. day and we certainly try not to do that. But to have you stay in the same neighborhood where you could park your car once and walk from call to call not that happen. ain't the gig, buddy. Yeah, that's not the gig. Uh, you, you know, and, and, and my problem was I was also coming from a suburb of Manhattan You're where used to, I yeah. I, it was like, you people don't know from traffic. Nowadays, yeah, yeah. Austin actually has some traffic. But back then, uh-uh. No yeah. way. No way. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, yeah. It is interesting. And I think that um, as business owners, we're, we're conditioned to uh, constantly be solving problems and becoming more uh, – comfortable doing that over time where you're just yep. like well this is just the job i'm solving problems all day no problems no business where 
perhaps from you know an employee perspective it's more of this this is not my problem we have to you know somebody we have to solve this and pushing it out there rather yep. than thinking this is a problem for our business maybe we could come up with a, a, a different way this is handled and propose it uh as a problem solution versus let's get rid of that person because they're you know that, that kind yeah, of yeah yeah so it's interesting. Yeah, there were. Yeah, I was young. I mean, it was you know yeah, the first time I'd ever yeah. dealt with anything like this. I mean, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's all good. We everybody survived. Like it's. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, good. But there is a, I I I loved having big teams of people working for us, and sometimes it just drove me nuts. And yeah, you know, it, it's yep. it's you get it's people. I I used to joke and say if we didn't have employees and customers, man, this would be an amazingly easy job <laughs> yeah but you'd have to do all the work yourself and that's yeah, also not yeah. feasible not, not, so not optimal yeah, yeah. well that's great yeah. well, thanks for sharing that story yeah awesome. you bet <laughs> happy friday I'll tell my wife to weekend. listen yeah <laughs> yeah yeah exactly Man. yeah she <laughs> might have a different perspective on her departure uh would be my guess oh, I, I guarantee it i guarantee it <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for sending in all your feedback to feedback at businessbrain.show. We love that. Thanks to our sponsor, shopify.com slash businessbrain. Keep on living that charmed life. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.